sitting in an automated uh, uh, driving car yeah. in Cadillac ATS. Could you tell us something about the technique in this car? Sure. So uh, Magna is the supplier for the front camera on the Cadillac ATS. And on this particular car, we took out the production camera and we put in a prototype camera. Mm -hmm. And in here, we've disconnected the uh, normal production sensors for adaptive cruise control. Um, and we've worked with the steering supplier for um, steering control. And using the standard uh, controls on the steering wheel and uh, the inputs, we have been able to um, implement several features. So what we've got in here, what we're going to demonstrate today is um, traffic jam assist, mm -hmm. um, adaptive cruise control, um, hands-free driving on the highway, so a highway pilot. Mm -hmm. I'll also be able to show you our capability for pedestrian detection, uh, traffic light detection, um, and speed limit detection. Okay. Do you need a special license for such a kind of car here in Nevada? In Nevada, no. So uh, this would be like, a, and in their terms, like a level two system. So it's still driver monitoring. Mm -hmm. I am going to take my hands off the wheel, but... Um, in uh, the different states, the rules are slightly different from state to state. So um, right now, all of the rules, all of the, the government regulations are all about uh, restricting this until the world knows uh, autonomous driving. But um, this is not the kind of uh, Google vehicle that will drive through a city and make its own decisions on which road to take and make right turns and left turns. And there's uh, no lane markings at all. All you have is a vehicle in front of you. The system will do lane keeping assist, but it will not do um, the, or, I'm sorry, it'll do adaptive cruise control, but it won't do the, the hands-free driving. If you can't see the lane markings, we won't, we won't do the hands-free driving. Because that means it will not go, will not follow the main traffic. No. It'll do it for the stop and go cruise control, but not steering functions. We want to make sure that if we're going to do hands free, we have very good information to do that with data. So, for example, this little green number in the corner here where it says eight, nine, that's the distance to this car as measured just by the camera. Here you can see the pedestrian. Mm -hmm. There's some more up here on the sidewalk, so you'll have more of a chance to see more pedestrians as we drive. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it'll turn yellow when it when it recognizes them. Mm -hmm. Also, you see the the R up here on the top. Mm -hmm. It's detecting that the traffic light ahead is red. Do you have also an emerging braking assist in this car? Yes, this okay. will do emergency braking. So mm -hmm. uh, we are in production today with an emergency braking system that operates with just the camera. Mm -hmm. On the um, Chevy Volt, the 2016 Chevy Volt, that's a magnet camera. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a camera only system. There's no radar fusion. Yeah, it's a camera only. And how expensive is the technique in this car if you compare it with a normal other car? Um, I can't get into exact pricing with you, right? But uh, we believe that the, if you're going to have one sensor in the car, it should be a camera. Okay. The camera is the most data-rich uh, sensor that you can mm -hmm. have, um, seeing lane markings, traffic signs, uh, vehicles, pedestrians, all these things. If you picked a different sensor, like a LiDAR or a radar, um, you might be able to determine the distance to objects, but you wouldn't be able to see the lane markings, for example. Uh -huh. Or you'd be able to see that there is a traffic sign, but you wouldn't know what the traffic sign says. So if you're going to have one camera, um, it should, or, or one sensor, it should be a camera. So after that, adding more sensors is a good thing. If you can afford to add a radar on the car, uh, if you can afford to put in a map database, if you can put in vehicle to vehicle, we want all of those things. We'd love to fuse it all together.